Hey guys, Mars Singing here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today we are going to be taking a look at both of the Year Three Anniversary LRs, fully easy aid, running them both on a 200% leader skill team, which is of course the LR Super Saiyan Fours. Um, both of them obviously are on the 200%. Uh, they are each other's best link partner, pretty much. So I thought rather than do two separate showcases, we'd show them off together and just run them as a rotation. Uh, obviously, Rainbow, full level 10 links. I definitely uh, just gave them random skill orbs at one point, apparently. So uh, now they've got their EZA and I'm testing them out. This is my first time using them since EZAing them. So maybe I'll change that at some point. But their leader skill goes up to Fusion, 3 key, HP, Attack and Defense, 180%. So they become the best leader just for straight up Fusion category. Um... But, so they can make a decent stand-in lead for things like Super Battle Row, Battlefield, um, any easy A's, stuff like that, which is pretty good. Um, their super attacks, the 12 key raises attack and defense for one turn, does colossal damage. The 18 key raises attack and defense for one turn and does mega colossal damage. And then they get attack and defense 180 start a turn, medium chance to crit, medium chance to dodge. And they get an additional 2 key per rainbow key sphere obtained. And then, of course, their fusion is when HP is 50% or less from the 6th turn. Now, we don't have a great first rotation for them here, unfortunately. Um, they, don't, <laughs> they don't link up super well with the LR Super Saiyan 4s. Um, so, unfortunately, not a lot of key for them on the first turn. But no support. They've got, what, 4 links active? Kamehameha Super Saiyan Fierce Battle Legendary Power. They have 209k defense, so they do have that chance to dodge and chance to crit built in, so additional is probably the way to go for them. 4.37, I mean, turn one, no support, that's their 12 key super with four links active, that's pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, double digits, what we'd expect, uh, we're only in the legendary Vegeta event. Now, the thing is, I might have to, in this video, I might have to jump into a red zone stage at one point, because... Both of these guys, of course, still have the fusion uh, restriction of dropping below 50% HP, which is not necessarily something that we're going to be able to do, um, especially, like, early on. Uh, shall I not super with you? That's probably the best idea, actually. So, yeah, we'll do this. Obviously, again, this isn't going to be the best rotation for these guys. They're literally only getting the Saiyan lineage, but... This isn't a bad rotation for them, considering there's going to be some rainbow orbs for them. So these guys, obviously, very similar. Uh, they become a Patara lead for 180% or int types 120. And then their super attacks, basically the same. Raise attack and defense, colossal. Raise an attack and defense, mega colossal. And then their passives, again, same amount of attack and defense. Medium chance to crit, medium chance to dodge. And then two key from rainbow orbs. So actually, in their pre-fuse state, they are exactly the same, which... It's pretty good. And then, yeah, they are six out of seven link partners with each other. So, go ahead and do that. We can actually get the 24 key super for Vegito. Well, Goku and Vegito. But I always just call them Vegito and Gogeta. It's much easier. So, I'm probably going to end up doing that for the whole video. So, just so you guys know already. But they have support on this turn. And are getting their 18 key super. So, even though they don't have any, as many links active, I would still expect a decent attack stat. Um, of course, the LR Super Saiyan 4 is getting the additionals. Uh, Pandel is a decent support unit. She's not the best. Probably probably could get away in a red zone stage where you can still dodge against like a tech boss. But I thought, you know, there's not a lot of a huge amount of really good um, supports on the Fused Fire category that support both Fusion and Patara. Because obviously the Int Vegito is still going by Z Patara rules. So the, they're not on time limit. So we can't run like the AGL Gotenks. Because a 40% support buff. Like, he would be great for both of these guys if he actually gave them the, uh... Actually gave them the support, but... Alright, so unfortunately, still not a great setup for the, uh, LRs here. But we'll get the, um... Get the Vegito onto rotation with them next time around. So, we'll skip through this part. They got their 30% chance to dodge, I'll take that. <laughs> That's something that definitely is going to come in useful in uh, the more difficult stages. Having the ability to just randomly pop a dodge like that. 30% chance. Not the best, but, you know, can be pretty decent. I also brought B-Pan since we can uh, float her off eventually. And then we'll get the turn where we have um, both the three-year LRs together on that rotation. And then, of course, we will be able to... Um, pop B-Pan's active skill as well. So, ideally, we get that rotation come up when... 
we've just gone into like a new phase or something because uh, probably need the enemy to have quite a decent amount of HP left on that turn if we actually want them to live for both the attacks. But yeah, like I say, we might have to jump into a red zone stage because uh, we'll see a good few turns of Vegito and Gogeta once we actually get them together. But whether or not we can actually get the fusion in this event is uh, another story. So once we get into the last couple of phases, uh, hopefully somebody like Pandel um, eats a super attack and then we can actually get the fusion. And then by having them both on rotation, they'll both fuse. That can be a waste in the harder content because the fact you're getting a heal from it as well. So getting them go off separately would obviously be ideal. Um, but, you know, you're not always going to be able to do that. So, all right. So let's see. You guys are not going to get an 18 key super again. So they share six links once Legendary Power and Kamehameha activates. But it's still only two key. So with no key support, um, we're not exactly getting a ton of rainbow orbs here, which is a shame. We can't actually get an 18 key super with either of them. Oh my god. All right, well, we'll do this. This will drop the int ones down, right? I feel like, uh, Gogeta's gonna get the kill here, but if not, we'll get the, um, <laughs> we'll get the super attack with, uh, Vegito as well for the 18 key. Still double digit damage, throw a dodge in there as well. I mean, 5 million without a support unit on their 12 key super, I think is pretty good. Um, with the 30% chance to dodge as well. They're raising defense on super, so their defense is not terrible. Um, yeah, pretty decent. The turn where we have Pandel in slot 3, these guys are going to be looking pretty good. So we need to try and do <laughs> not too much damage this turn. Um... Alright, so if we put you in slot 1 and just do this. Because <laughs> they get a extra key, we literally can't avoid a super attack. But I'm going to not super attack with you, and then I'm going to grab this with you. So we're going to do as little damage as possible on this turn. While maybe if we eat a super here. Because um, the god, the Super Saiyan 4s don't have their guard anymore. So if we eat a super, we might actually take some damage. I feel like we probably wouldn't lose 50% of our HP still though. All right, we're going to find out. Oh, we're going to get a level 3 dodge. Okay. Well, there you go. And then Gogeta gets the additional super. Because Gogeta, I figured, would uh, maybe take a little bit of damage if we didn't get his super attack off. But there we go. And then, of course, he does loads of damage. <laughs> I feel like we're going to get stuck into this uh, not being able to do enough attacks. I guess if we put Gogeta into slot 1, he won't kill unless we get a crit. But... Alright, so Pandel is here. We can get all of these rainbow orbs. We can get a full 24 key super for you. Oh, and look at that. Those rainbow orbs spawned in perfectly. Alright, this is great. So, they have 243k defense. Vegito has 270. Uh, he's picking up... Uh... Oh, his only other link is... Um, is it Saiyan Lineage? Yeah, that he's getting from Pandel. So, that's pretty good. Vegito is at 7 out of 7 links. Um, so after they super attack, they're going to be over 300k defense, which is pretty good. And then we'll just give these to Pandel. I'm sure Gogeta probably kills here, but what is he doing? 8.6 pre-fusion. That's pretty good. Um, and we didn't get the crit, which is actually good. 5.2 on the additional. So remember, that raises their defense as well. So he's probably close to 400k defense now. With a 30% chance to dodge. That's uh, not bad. <laughs> And then 8 million from uh, Vegito as well. Damn. Very solid turn from uh, the three-year easy A's. But now we need to see the fusion. So we've got type advantage with both the Super Saiyan 4s. I feel like the only thing we can really do here to maybe take some damage is if we allow ourselves to not super with you. Maybe you'll take some damage and then we'll do this. But... <laughs> the anniversary LRs are just too good. It's like we're trying to show these guys off under the 200% leader skill because that's where they're going to look their best. But the LR Super Saiyan 4s are just too good for every event in the game that came out before the anniversary. Like the legendary Vegeta event can't handle the power of this team. Like, <laughs> there we go. We took a little bit of damage. But yeah, I, I feel like we're not going to lose 50% uh, of our HP in this event. So... We'll probably jump into uh, another event. We'll get the... I think we have the B-Pan turn next, right? So we'll do the B-Pan turn and then I'll jump into some red zone stages and see if I can actually get the fusion to go off. And uh, we'll see what we can do. So 
Let's get the uh, B-Pan active skill fired off on this turn. And then I guess we put the Jito in slot one. Because he doesn't have type advantage. So maybe he will uh, do a bit less damage. Um, he's getting Saiyan. He gets Saiyan lineage from her as well. So he would be at seven out of seven links again. Um, now we don't have the best key. Maybe I should just put you in slot one. Because at least there's some int orbs, right? So if we do this, are we going to get any of these drop down? No. You actually get more key from a rainbow orb than you do from an int orb. That's crazy. All right, well, this will be more about Gogeta then, I guess. We've seen Vegito's 18 key quite a few times now. But with the B-Pan buff, what are we going to do here? We only got to 20 key. 9.5. So if we were at full 24 key, we would be pretty close to 10 million on this turn with them, which is pretty good. Uh, and then, yeah, decent attack stat from you, considering that's their 12 key super as well. That is uh, actually really, really good. And then B-Pan should finish him off here, I imagine. I don't know. She's only rocking a 1 million attack stat, even with her own buff. But yeah, almost 10 mil for uh, the physical Gogeta. That is actually really, really good. So, all right. Let's go ahead and jump over into uh, a red zone stage. See if we can actually get this uh, fusion to go off. Okay. We almost died on the last turn. But <laughs> here we are in uh, the Janemba red zone stage. This is literally turn six. Uh, Pandel got attacked three times at the end of the turn by Injun Ember and took 180k per hit. If she hadn't dodged the third one, we actually would have died. But <laughs> here we are. We get the fusion. Now, unfortunately, um, because you change orbs, that means we are not getting... Oh, man. We can get the 18 key soup with Vegito if we do that. So we can put Vegito first. Oh, he's going to get destroyed. <laughs> okay, so to go over very quickly the details between Vegito and Gogeta. So on the super attacks, uh, you are the same and greatly raise defense for one turn. Mega Colossal and raise allies attack by 30% for one turn. So the 12 key is still just raise attack and defense for one turn. And then Gogeta's super attack effect. But again, the 12 key is the same. The 18 key is the same, although it greatly lowers attack and defense instead of giving allies an attack buff. So, arguably, the Vegito one is better. Um, and then in terms of the passive, so Vegito, obviously, we get the full heal, and then Gogeta has 200% attack and defense. Attack's effective against all types, um, which I'm pretty sure Vegito doesn't get. Uh, he gets a crit and a high chance of evading for three turns from the start of the turn. So, oh wow, so he gets guaranteed crit for three turns, as well as the 50% chance to dodge. Uh, high chance to crit, a medium chance to dodge uh, from the fourth turn. And then he gets three extra key per rainbow orb. And then our man Vegito over here. So he gets the counter normal attacks with tremendous power, 30% damage reduction from normal attacks. Uh, for the first three turns, and then damage received by 15% from the fourth turn. So basically, he gets the counters and the damage reduction, whereas Gogeta gets super effective against all types and three turns of guaranteed crit. So by doing this, this will give um, this will give Gogeta the attack buff uh, by him going first and doing the 18 key super. Not to mention the damage that we'll potentially get from counters. The only downside is, unless we get some good, like, rainbow orbs pop up here. Yeah. Oh, we can just get the 18 key super for you as well. All right, perfect. So, considering this was my first attempt at jumping into the red zone to actually get the transformation, we uh, managed to pull it off, even though it was very, very close. So, let's see. Double digits from the normal attacks, and then decent crit counter damage. Um... Obviously, Vegito would take a lot of damage from a super. In fact, we might actually die. Would we die? Uh, we have 600k defense. Ooh. Good thing this team has a lot of HP. <laughs> 440k from Janemba. So, 8 million from Vegito here. They share 6 out of 7 links still whilst they're fused. So, very good attacks that when you consider all of the damage that we just did with counters as well. And he's buffing everybody else's attack. Then he gets the additional for 5.7. Um, yeah, now the counters are at 1.8 million. <laughs> and then Gogeta's at 9.4. So, these guys looking pretty good. Uh, we get the guaranteed crit as well. So, how much is this going to do? 7.5 mil. Man, that is when you want to be getting the um, 
additional supers in these first couple of turns. Oof, B-Pan takes 111k. Yikes. <laughs> All right, are we going to get another turn of them? I don't think we are, right? Because in order to survive this turn, we probably need to transform um, with you. Yeah, I'm not sure. I expected to suggest fusing. This is going to be special. I can feel it. Fuse Pretty convenient that Janemba changed a bunch of the orbs at the bottom into physical. Because uh, as soon as I got to the point where he changed orbs for the first time going into this run, I was like, oh, great. <laughs> this is going to ruin our chances to get 18 key supers with the uh, LRs. But fortunately, we were all good. So, what is his start of turn defense? I haven't gotten a lot of stacks off with the Super Saiyan 4s because I didn't want them to do too much damage. So, we'll see what happens. We could die here, but let's go ahead and do this. And then, I guess I could pop a Whis. And then if we don't happen to finish him off, we will get um, the other fusions back on the next turn. And we can get at least one last uh, attack in with them. So... But I'm not sure. I think I feel like Super Saiyan 4, but yeah, he's at 8.3. The Super Saiyan 4s are going to go after him. I feel like there's no way we don't finish him off this turn. But we managed to get one good turn out of the fusions. And that is the thing, right? They are probably, their easy A's are going to be made for the red zone. Now, defense-wise, they're in kind of like that middling sort of position where you probably don't want to put them in slot 1. Because they raised defense on Super. I mean, we saw Vegito took 440k from the Super from Janemba. Which we did survive. But, obviously, we were on full health at the time. So, that could potentially get you killed. Depending on uh, the scenario. But, definitely uh, looking pretty good in the uh, red zone stage that we jumped into for this video. So, um, right, we're going to get one final turn in here. Uh, we probably don't want to put Vegito in slot 1 just in case there's a super. Plus, how fitting would it be to finish off Janemba with uh, Gogeta, right? So, we got the support from Pandel. So, 270k defense. Again, see, not ideal for slot 1. But then he's greatly raising defense on super, which is a 50% buff. And then, of course, if you do get an additional super and get the 12 key, raising defense as well. So... Post super attack, they could be looking pretty good. And then, of course, he's effective against all types. We still get the guaranteed crit. Um, so, yeah, very good. And Vegito. Can Vegito crit here and finish him off? Or. Alright, well, it's down to these counters then. Let's see. Double digit damage. We got the Whis up, so that is understandable. We need crit counters if we're going to finish him off, though. He dodged! He's actually going to win, isn't he? He's going to kill Pandel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we needed one of those other counters to be a crit or not get dodged. But I feel like Vegito dies to this. Oh, 49k. Okay. I feel like Pandel's probably still going to take the L here. She almost got him. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. That is the three-year uh, anniversary LRs with their full EZA level 10 links on the 200% leader skill team. Very, very good. Uh, for red zone bosses that they're going to have type advantage over the final stage, I definitely think they are worth bringing along. Um, so let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.